Good morning, everybody. This is Steve from the Whirly Bugger, giving you your weekly river report on the Yakima. I'm standing here, of course, across from the KOA campground. And as you can see, again, the river has massive volumes of water. And it, the clarity is mm, not so good. Uh, I can't see the bottom, but you know, extreme volumes of water being pushed through the system right now. Big water in the river, pretty much the most of the spring. Now we are progressing into summer. And you can kind of expect the same scenario to play out here. The river will continue to operate with big water like this. Running at summer flow, especially as we progress into the month of June, things will warm up. And the demand for water from irrigators will increase. As air temperatures increase, I'll begin pulling more and more water from the river to irrigate crops. So you can expect high flows, which pretty much make it a boating river. You know, one thing I can tell you too is you don't have a whole lot of experience on the Yakima. We have these up and down flows like this. It creates blockages and all kinds of river hazards. So, you know, always check, you know, with the professional fly shops on the river. We're on the river on a daily basis. So we can tell you, you know, where the hazards are, what to be careful of, what to watch for, and of course, Stopping by those shops, patronizing them, that's always a great thing too. Mm. So you can see the river has begun to reseed a little bit here. It looks like, uh, you know, from the, from the gauge there. On the piling. It's dropped about six or seven inches, but we are expecting more rain throughout the week, which is gonna push more water into the river. But with the reservoirs at full capacity now, they're also, Having to mitigate some some dumps of water from the reservoirs to uh, you know obtain some some capacity for melting snow. Uh, there's still lots and lots of snow in the Cascades, so that water's got to go somewhere. It either goes into the reservoirs or it goes into the tributaries and then into the river. You know, of course, driving the flows up, driving the turbidity up. So, been an issue for us all spring. I'm probably looking at a couple more weeks of this before the reservoirs have total control of the river. And once once that happens, once we once we get total control of the of the river and the reservoirs are controlling the outflows and things will stabilize fishing will be good hatches will reappear on the river and our summer fishing will begin you can see here how high the river got So it was all the way up into this bank, about five or six feet. 
a few caddis flying around what you can expect pmds pale morning dun mayflies probably still be a few march browns lingering around here the first week 10 days or so uh, into june especially in the upper river uh, and then golden stones will start re start appearing be the tail end of salmon flies there was quite a few salmon flies still around last week but by the time we get back to fishing they'll, they'll be over with Hey guys, Aaron here from the bugger up here at South Cleelum. The river is big and dirty. Hopefully we see some improvement by the weekend. But as of right now, not worth fishing. Maybe, maybe four inches of is. That might be a generous amount. Hopefully by the weekend we see some uh, clarity in the water and the river coming down a little bit. Have a great week everyone. So if you have any questions feel free to uh, give us a shout at the pro shop. Till then everybody have a uh, good week and we'll look forward to seeing you out on the river.